in Denver, everybody. Very excited to have this gentleman here. Give it up for Aaron Maslow. Do I want this one? What do I want? I want that one. I want this. Yeah, don't start the clock. It's not on. Now it's on. Hi, everybody. Good to see you. Good to see you. Let's start over. Hey, hi. <laughs> uh, do you ever get on an airplane and you hear a screaming baby? So you turn around to see what all the commotion is, and it's just me in 32B doing this. I want your seat. That's what's going on. I want to get in there. I want to sit where you're sitting. I want to touch your stuff. I want to get in there. This is my impression of a desperate cheerleader. You ready for this? Give me a chance. <laughs> Nobody ever does. Um, probably why I had to make that high school squad, the high school cheer squad. Boy, we're having fun, aren't we? I'm a big, uh, big drinker. That's what I do. One time, though, I was drinking... <laughs> Drinking and driving, which is a big problem. Shouldn't do that. Uh, I did get pulled over. Police officer came up to my car. He said, do you know why I pulled you over? And I said, no. <laughs> he said, your headlight is out. I said, uh, padiddle. <laughs> <laughs> he said, put your shirt back on. That's what he said. And uh, he took my license and registration and went back to his police car to run my information. While he was away... He started taking coins out of my penny dish and shoving them in my mouth. I don't know if you've heard this. Coins in your mouth are supposed to mess up the breathalyzer test I was about to take. If you haven't heard, don't worry. It doesn't work, actually. <laughs> Cop comes back to my car. He says, Mr. Maslow, uh, get your headlight fixed. You're free to go. And I turned to him and I said, because $40 worth of pennies came out of my mouth. <laughs> and I said, thank you, and then I drove into a tree. <laughs> because my headlight was out, you see? But it all. That's my favorite. <laughs> I uh, have a dog at my house, and uh, when I was out one day, the dog went to the bathroom on the floor. That's a problem, because I also have a Roomba. If you don't know, a Roomba is a robotic vacuum that smears dog poop all over your carpet. And I got home and I saw this mess and I was so mad, but I didn't know who to be more mad at, you know? I like grabbed the robot vacuum and I'm like, what did you do? And the dog was like, yeah, what did he do? <laughs> what I did was I took the Roomba out in my backyard and I shot it because, <laughs> yeah, I bought the extended warranty and I was gonna use it and, uh, I take the Roomba back to Target, and I said, give me a new vacuum. And I said, what's wrong with this one? I said, well, it's covered in poop, and it's got a bullet in it. <laughs> okay. And that's when they asked me to leave. Like they did. I called my mom recently. I said, mom, do you love me? She said, short answer is no. Uh, long answer, nobody loves you. OK, stop calling. It's a mother's love. I don't know. I've got uh, I'm married. I have children. I've got three wives. So, uh, thank you. Thank you very much. I'm just kidding. Uh, I've actually, I married my high school sweetheart. She's my best friend. We've been together for, uh, for 11 years. She's my best friend now, but it hasn't always been that way. Like, she wasn't the best man at my wedding or anything. Nice. <laughs> I knew I was gonna marry my wife when I met her because I just knew I got her pregnant. You know how that works, right? <laughs> She's a sweet lady, but she does not like that joke. <laughs> uh, let's see, we got three kids. And uh, the older one, he's older than the other two. And <laughs> he's a handful. Uh, he started kindergarten this last year and he missed the cutoff the year before. So he's kind of the older kid in his class. And I knew he was older because the littler kids were on one side of the room eating glue, and my son was on the other side of the room huffing glue. He was just like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. 
you know, he saw a lot of colors this year. So we're real proud of him <laughs> really getting into it. They have car line at our school. Uh, basically, it means I drive around the back of the school, I give them a number and they send my kid out. It's like a drive through for children. I'm like, I'll get that number five year old and a bag and uh, fries. Send out the math teacher, get in the van. Let's do this. It's a party. You guys don't do car line? That's fine. That's <laughs> fine. My son was uh, learning how to go to the bathroom. He was potty training when he was three, when he was younger. And that was uh, a tough time because he just kept peeing on the toilet because he's a jerk. So what I do is I took him outside and show, showed him how to go to the bathroom on a tree. I thought that would be fun. What an experience for dad and son. You know, he runs outside one day, because I know he's getting the hang of it. I see him run up to this big tree, and he's standing there. He puts his hand up, and then with his other hand, wiggles his pants down. And as he's standing there, getting ready to do his business, he poops out his butt. <laughs> and I'm watching this thing from the kitchen window. I'm like, what is going on? It looked like the ash end of a cigar. It just kept getting bigger and bigger. I'm like, where's gravity? It did a half pipe trick. It's going so long. Finally, he snaps off like a Slim Jim. Hits his underwear and flies into the yard. <laughs> Lands out by where the dogs eat. And I had to go get a shovel, you know, and hit him with it. Because I'm like, what the hell, man? <laughs> we don't have fences. Our neighbors can see you getting hit with a shovel. And that's a problem. <laughs> I have a problem with kids. Kids are rough, man. Uh, I don't like ugly kids. I think ugly kids are a lot like farts. Because the best thing to do is just leave them in the parking lot before you get in the car. That's, that's good policy, is what that is. I saw this kid at the airport. Just drive me nuts. He was screaming, Nernies, mommy, Nernies. He wanted to be breastfed in Terminal C. I'm like, dude, if you're old enough to say Nernies, mommy, Nernies, and you, you're 17, <laughs> you're too old to be breastfed. I knew he was 17 because he had like a weird, wispy mustache, but. Um, his mom was into it, and so was I. I missed my flight. Uh, <laughs> can't do that anymore. Let's see. Uh, I've also got twin toddlers, two twin boys. I think having twin boys makes my wife the opposite of Thunderdome, because one man entered, and two men leave. <laughs> that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. That's <laughs> People ask me, uh, do twins run in my family? Yeah. My twins are twins. And uh, furthermore, <laughs> people, people also ask, hey, which twin is the evil twin? I'm like, man, they're both evil, all right? <laughs> One is a full out biter. He'll get you, take you like a hand fruit. He will, he'll just go to you. Sometimes you'll catch him like you're holding on to him and he's like licking your neck and you think he's kind of kissing you like being silly, but really he's just tenderizing the meat because he's gonna <laughs> burn. <laughs> The other one, he's a little more subtle, you know? He, uh, he wasn't wearing a diaper recently because he had diaper rash, so he was airing things out. <laughs> he's running around the house. My wife is getting the kids ready for bed. And uh, this little rascal went ahead and pooped on the floor. He has a poop heavy set, sorry. <laughs> My wife's getting the kids ready for bed. She sees the mess, and she's about to clean it up. She turns and gets the other kid out of the bedroom, the other twin. While her back is turned, the poopy baby bends down, picks up the poop, and puts it in his mouth. <laughs> and my wife screams bloody murder. She's like, Aaron, get out of here! And I come running over, I'm like, what's going on? She's like, how do you get poop out of a kid's mouth? I'm like, I'll get paper towels, babe. She's like, I need answers, not an idiot, okay? Look, I was just trying to help her, and not trying to give her advice, and she's not listening, and I don't think she loves me. What I should have done is gotten one of those nose sucker things, you know, those little blue bulbs. I would have filled that with water and then chucked the baby down the stairs, because we already have two. <laughs> we don't need that many. There's already enough. Plenty, plenty of baby to go around in our house. What I learned that day is that some kids are accidents. But all kids are mistakes. That's what I learned. <laughs> I took my kids to the zoo one time, and uh, it was hot out. It was sticky. And I kind of got clammy in my man part area. So I took the kids to the bathroom with me so I could freshen up. My 
oldest says, Dad, what are you doing? I said, well, when a man's walking around the hot zoo, December, seriously? Sometimes you gotta wipe. He says, yeah, why do you gotta do it at the urinal? A lot of sass out of this kid. I can't even handle it. I like the zoo because they have beer at the zoo. And uh, it's fun, fun experience because now the kids get to see what it's like to pull dad around in the wagon. You know what I mean? I'm all drunk. I want to see the giraffes too. You know, they're just pulling me around. Guys, I wish I had a big banger closer, but that was it. You guys have been delightful. Thank you so much. Danny Ruskin, I appreciate it. Oh, don't put that mic away yet, Aaron. Oh, stick around. Talk to me. Dish, okay, we'll chat, do. Schmooze. Let's do it. Uh, actually, we don't have time for that. Thanks, everybody. Uh, <laughs> it's pre-dented, actually, so don't worry. We're used to it. You make uh, a good man. Tell you us about your good. podcast real quick. Tell us what's going on with you, uh, this comedy stuff. Sure. So Schooling uh, Noah. Sure. Schooling Noah with Aaron Maslow and a special guest is a podcast on the Sex Pot Comedy Network. And... Um, what I do is, uh, I'm an old man. I have a lot of experience. Noah is a young boy. He's only 20, one or 20. So what we do is we invite people on the show to educate us about the world. I'm out of touch and he doesn't know nothing. So we get to learn from nice. uh, people who do know things. And it's Two really- Two kinds of ignorant. Yeah, it's the ignorant on the opposite side. You really want to hit that sweet spot right in the, I just graduated college, I know everything. And I just had a family, nothing matters. <laughs> All right. Nice. And so that's available on sexpotcomedy.com. Sexpotcomedy.com. Nice. And people can follow you. You can follow me on Twitter or Instagram at, uh, it's my name backwards, Wolsam Nora. So spell that. You Whoa, weirdos. good luck with that. Yeah. There, there's just something for you on the, on the lower thirds there. See, see, that's your website. Oh, God, I have a website? I have a website, you guys, and uh, you should check that out. That's my name, forwards.com. Forwards or backwards, he's great either way. Everyone give it up yes, for Aaron so Maslow. Much. Thank you. All right. You ready to keep that up for one more comedian? Yeah. Except for you two. Can't handle it. I know you two are comedy out. Sorry. Go nurse your comedy muscle. It seems to be pulled. Uh, However, for the rest of you, Tough Comedy Warriors, you are to be rewarded. Uh, this next comedian is so talented. We're very happy to have him here. Everybody give it up for Nalawi Mengist. So white devils.